What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Gold Mouth. I am coming to you guys today to show you guys my new do. So, it's finally over all the washing and the conditioning and the coloring and all of that stuff. So, I don't want to got my hair do, y'all, and I'm feeling great. Okay, guys. So, first of all, I want to tell you guys to check out this satin line bonnet. This is the red and black zebra print bonnet. And it's reversible. It has red and black satin on the outside and black satin underneath. It is completely reversible. You can flip it over and have your black one. And this one is in the large size, as you can tell about how big it is and standing up on the top of my head because I got help there, y'all. So, anyways, you guys, check out my website, goldencreations.wealth.com. I'll leave the info in the description box below. Now, okay, without further ado, I got my hair done yesterday, y'all. So, this time I'm actually coming to y'all with a fresh, fresh do and not a three-day-old do. So, this is pretty much fresh. So, I got my hair braided up. Um, oh, let me find a picture on Instagram first so I can show y'all. So, I can also shout out, I don't know who, who Instagram, who the girl is on Instagram, but that's where I got her from. And that's where I got the hair style, well, not the whole style, but the braided part. Um, that's where I got it from. And her name is Tangi, Five Star Braid Shop. Um, this was the, this is the braid pattern that I actually wanted right here. Y'all can see on my phone. I don't know how clearly y'all can see that. But her Instagram is called Tangi underscore five star underscore braid shop. As you guys can see, I don't even know if y'all can see that. But Tangi underscore five star underscore braid shop. Okay. And, um, if you guys can see this hairstyle here, that's the one I chose. And she has, I got different pictures of it. This is what hers looked like in the front. She kind of got hers like that. I didn't want all that. I wanted my braids to show since they came out so cute. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get that. So, that is just at her hair in my phone. <laughs> I be screenshotting folks so I go to my hair uh, braider and show her the picture. And she comes up with her own thing, okay? All right, you guys. This is my hair. <laughs> red yes y'all i had to get red because i wanted it to stand out simple i just wanted it to stand out so this is what my hair looks like i'm gonna take this off y'all i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like without this on so y'all can actually see the braided part okay so this is what it looks like i'm gonna turn around i hope y'all getting a good view My steel in the camera. And this is what the other side look like. Now, I can't find my little gel, my edge control, so, cause I got people everywhere in my house, chilling and chilling, chilling. So, all I could find was this, this little, the even, the black one. And I don't want to use that, but the, I ain't got time to be going to the house, so I'm going to find my edge control later. So, y'all might see a little, I don't know if y'all can see it, but child, my edges are blacker than they supposed to be, okay? Um, so I was trying to lay my edges, but that didn't work. I think I'm just going to wipe this off and brush my edges back, back up in there, okay? So, and this is, my hair just tied around up here. Oh, she put it in two plaits. And she tied it around. She twists it around. So, um, I just slapped that ponytail up there real quick. So, I want to show y'all this ponytail. It is, it was redder than this, y'all. It was mostly fire red, but I cut around it because it had black underneath. And I wanted to the black to pop out a little bit more than, than just being so bold. I wanted it bold, but not bold to the point that it just was red, red, red. Um, as far as the tip, because I think it was like T, T, 1B30, something, not 1B30. 2T1 slash B Burgundy. Yeah. Okay, and it look and it come in a box like this. And I got this box. I got this um from my local beauty supply store. Um right here in Montgomery, Alabama. But if y'all see this, y'all can order that if y'all want. Or wherever y'all can get it from, child. Look, go check your local house store, beauty supply store, wherever you're going to find it from. Uh, Amazon might have it, somebody. But it's by Otre, and it's timeless. It says timeless ponytail afro, and it's in the medium size. That's what it is, medium size. And um, it's a color shown as a, oh, color shown as a number four. Color shown on that, on a girl on the picture is a number four. But the color that I got, it says T21 slash D. BU as in burgundy. So that's what it looks like. So you all know it's gonna come in a box. Like so, okay? So and 
What I did with mine is I got the scissors and I trimmed it down because it was actually a little bit bigger than this. Not a whole lot, but it stood out like way out there. So I wanted to cut it down. I already got a big watermelon head, so I didn't want it to be bigger than my head now. Um, so all it is, y'all already know the drawstring look like with the two combs in the back and the drawstring. That's pretty much it. I just take it, open it, and put it on my ponytail, y'all. How y'all like the braids, though, y'all? Kira be doing her thing. I ain't never received no bad service, and my braids are not too tight. Okay, so, and I've been going to her for, ooh, all this year, except, like, I think, like, March, I started going to her. So, all I do is stick my little combs in there and pull the string and wrap it around. But I do get bobby pin it down, just in case y'all didn't know. I do bobby pin my hair down, but I ain't got no bobby pins in front of me right now, so, um... I'm across that bobby pin bridge when I get to it, okay? So this is the color that I chose. The lady was saying, you need to get black. And I'm like, I don't want black. I don't, I don't want black. I always get black. I want to stand out this time. And that's just what I did, okay? Um, turn around one more time. So I get bored sometimes, cause y'all know I always get updos. All my hairstyles are being braided updos. But I find that the, the the styles that I'm wearing, the wearing my hair up is the best way for me to grow my hair. Because me wearing it down, it still gives it a chance to rub up against my clothes and rub up against everything else when I, if I get it braided down. Because my husband was, I can't, look, you know, he, he said, the hair, I was trying to get my husband to pick a hairstyle and he didn't like none of the updos. He was like, um, all my updos look like a toupee. Anyways, Chad, we're not going to listen to him, so... And if y'all agree, I'm not listening to y'all either. So, this is for hair growth purposes that I wear my hair up. This uh, this is the best way that I get. This is the best protection that I get for my hair when it's up and out of the way. Even though it's up under this, I do take this off and I keep it moisturized on a regular basis, okay? Um, it's better for me to have my hair up than down. Because when you still, when you have your hair braided down and those box braids and stuff like that, because I used to get box braids, y'all. I used to do my own box braids. If you follow me long enough, you know I used to do my own box braids. But I found that by me, I don't know, I think it was by the extra weight, pull it, the, 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 you know, gravity against my natural hair, pulling, pulling the, putting the weight on my actual hair, um, I think that helped it helped it to thin, help it thin out and stuff like that. It would grow long, but it would still be thin. So all of those box braids and any like um any hairstyle that would you know what I'm saying that hangs from your hair. Cause this, say this is my hair. And, uh, no, this is the weave hair, and all of this is actually pulling. Whether you know it or not, it's pulling downward. And it's pulling away from your scalp. So that's causing the hair that's on your scalp, your real hair, to pull too. So in the long run, I in the long run for me, for me, it caused my hair to seem appear thinner. Even though it would, would grow, it would be thin growth. Um, that just was from my, ex my own personal experience with it. Y'all know I got videos where I actually done my own box braids. I done had them in blue and red and brown and black and all kinds of colors. But I found that in the long run that it wasn't, um, it wasn't helping my hair as far as thickness was concerned. My hair would still grow, you know, no doubt, but the thickness would just, it, I can't say the thickness wasn't there because my hair is naturally thick, but it was making my hair thinner. See, it it seemed like it just didn't feel good. It just didn't feel good, y'all. So that's just that. That's just why I wear my hair up and away. So that way, my hair is not being pulled to the flow. You know, the power from the force of the gravity is not pulling my hair to the flow. I do gravity go up. Whatever gravity do, child, my hair ain't getting pulled out of my head. This is my own hair with no extensions added into these braids. Um. I said I was gonna go, uh, and you know, I you can I can still wear box braids and stuff like that. But right now I'm on a hair growth journey, and I'm gonna put box braids and stuff in my hair. Like, I, I, nah, I probably will wear box braids. I'll probably wear like um, you know, those feed in braids that go back like the boy Sierra type. <laughs> you know, those those braids like that, like the feed ins that they go straight back. I said I was gonna get some of those one time, but not yet, not yet. And I don't want to wait till I reach my hair goal to. 
start doing foolish stuff like putting in box braids and doing all this and doing all that, then I, I feel like that'll defeat the purpose of where I was trying to go, okay? So, that is it, you guys. I was just coming to show y'all my hair. Let me know how y'all feel about it. If y'all like it, yeah, or nay for the red. Either way, I'm going to wear it anyway. But let me know if y'all like the red. Because some people don't like color. Some people just basic and they like all black. So, let me know how y'all feel about that, y'all. So, um, thank you guys so much. I'm going to turn around again and show you guys uh, my braids. So, okay, that is it, y'all. So, don't forget to check out my website if you want to purchase this bonnet or any other bonnet on there. This is a fully reversible bonnet, as you can see. I've been wearing this bonnet for a long time. This bonnet is, has worn out as welcome, for real. Like, I done worn a thousand million zillion times. But, you know, it still looks good and it still fits, okay? So, anyways, you guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.